Space Chicago, Tom Barnes, stories from the 78. Today, going to Logan Square at a historic place, the Stan Mansion. They have a one-day sale December 18th, and I brought in Emma here, who is, this is your thing, Emma, right? This the, uh, It's Windy City Made is the name of this market that is popping up here on December 18th, and it's all yours, right? Uh, that's right. It is. Um, I'm organizing it, but mm-hmm. it have 60 vendors. So um, we are doing one day art and vintage market. So it's vendors that sell vintage clothing, vintage objects, um, home decor, as well as um, all kinds of handmade uh, gifts from Chicago businesses. They're all local Chicago businesses. And that's great because I think a lot of people don't realize how much is still made in Chicago or how much how many businesses focus on things that are about Chicago. So it's not just that's not what I'm saying that you guys are about, but you have businesses in Chicago for people in Chicago who are geeks about Chicago and also just great products in general, kind of like the stuff that you have with the art deco stuff. Um, they're actual antique originals. So they were made in the 1920s. Um, oh, that's really interesting and unique. I didn't know that. So how are you finding them? Um, I'm actually an art historian by training, and I'm also an avid collector. Um, so I basically collect things that <laughs> I find interesting. I tend to find something and go down a rabbit hole and collect as much as I can and then have to kind of unload some of it. Um, so I always have a range of um, subject matters, but I love Art Deco, and I started specializing in this Parisian magazine that I came across by chance. Um, I now work with dealers in Europe because it didn't circulate much here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I sell those. Um, I also sell antique prints and astronomy. I sell botanicals, all kinds of other areas as well. But I'm particularly interested in Art Deco, and that's the imagery that I use for my graphic design, my stationary line. Um, that I kind of reinvent with my um, kind of unapologetic and dry sense of humor um, and kind of <laughs> update it for a contemporary audience. So that's my store, but then I'll also have 60 other vendors at this event that all represent Chicago small businesses. So it's really a way for Chicagoans to support other Chicagoans with their holiday shopping. And you get to do it in this amazing venue, the Stan Mansion, which has some Art Deco uh architecture in there so kind of just brings it full circle for you right i actually was first introduced to the stan mansion at a holiday party for my husband's work so i attended a party and so and it was just an amazing place to kind of you know experience this you know festive atmosphere and so i wanted to bring that to the event and make it almost like a kind of you know, Art Deco inspired holiday party, but a market. Um, It's also, uh, you know, I've done a lot of markets this year and a lot of the vendors that I know personally from doing markets, it's it's the end of a long um, holiday market season. And so I wanted to have it, you know, have a little bit of this festive atmosphere, um, this kind of end of the season party um, so it's kind of a, you know, a, a, a holiday party, but also a, a market. Yeah. And I think that people who just are really interested in supporting small business, especially here in Chicago in a great neighborhood, you have everything you need in that neighborhood with the food options, the drinking options, family options. And of course the, this, uh, pop-up market that's going to be around, uh, for the 18th. How long does the whole market last for uh, start to finish? Um, So it goes from 12 to 6, um, and we will have a bar, um, we'll have some snacks as well, it's a couple of food vendors, so you can come after brunch, you can come and, you know, browse with a drink in your hand, you can bring the kids, we'll have some hot chocolate, so there's a little bit of everything. And if people want to learn more about this and what is available, what's the website they should go to to check things out? They can go to my website, the20thart.com, um, and there'll be links there so that you can RSVP and get in for free. Oh, nice. That's perfect. Well done. Um, uh, I appreciate you taking time to chat with me, Emma, and it's great. I, I love that what you're doing to help showcase. I feel like Chicago has so much talent. It's just a matter of showcasing it where people are aware of it. So kudos to you for doing that. And it's a great story. And I can't wait to check out some of your, uh, your artwork that you have for uh, people to buy in uh, Peru's.
Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually going to have a special collection that I curated just for this event of all Windy City ladies. Um, a lot of the um, images that I collect, there are a lot of ladies in really fancy coats um, from the Art Deco area, era um, in winter weather. And so I'm specifically just taking this collection out for the Windy City Made event. Ah, very cool. I look forward to it. Thank you so much for uh, joining me on the uh, stories from the 78. I appreciate it. Thank you.